Welcome to Blind Bourbon and Whiskey Reviews. I'm your host, Lindsay, and this is John, risking his liver to discover new bourbons. We base our reviews off of a 25-point scale we developed and then multiply that by 4 to get up to 100. We start with 5 points for smell, then 10 points for taste, then 5 for the finish, and 5 points combined for the look of the bottle and the liquid inside. Now on to the review. All right. all right so we are knocking all these videos down pretty much in one day because we are really busy this week that's pretty much why we're not doing the blind tasting yeah. we just went with a weeded week a themed week so we are wearing the same clothes we don't wear the same clothes every day well she doesn't at least <laughs> okay so five hmm. going down to our top three she gets she keeps giving me a different glass every time we have so many different liquor glasses. I didn't even know this one was here. Yeah. I have one at the camper too, don't I? Yeah. So we have, hmm. this is our Crown Royal set. That is our Jim Beam set. Um, we have a four pack set of the Knob Creek ones, which I you'll see in the, the next Creek. video. Um, we have our Glen Livet glasses that are his favorite, the Canadian Glen Karen. I get the most smells out of the Canadian Glen yeah. Karen. The Knob Creek ones I actually do get pretty good smells on. And then uh, the we have a Island Beaver one. Island that one. That one really, I yep. really get good smells on that so one. So we've, we've got a lot. We've got a lot yeah. of cups. <laughs> a lot of family packs that have been given to us, so. <laughs> Sorry. Cat fight. Cinnamon and alcohol. Cinnamon and alcohol. Getting the best of you today. This has got a caramel... Like a caramel, salted caramel, maybe. Okay. The alcohol kind of creates that salty caramel feel. Okay. I'm starting to get a little drunk, so we might have to slow down on the videos there. We're just doing a back to back. <sighs> You'd think I'd noticed all the whiskeys by now because we're doing them back to back, but I don't. They all, except Makers and Rebel Yell 80, are all very similar. While well, he's getting some smells, short snippet. John buckled in all of our liquor today while we were coming back from the camper. So he had it all in the front seat of his truck. BTA asterisk, don't ever do that because it's illegal. No, they were Open all bottles. Anyway. I didn't drink them. Well, I don't think the cop will understand. So... John was bringing them all home, and then when he got home, he was bringing them all in, and he came in, and he goes, I almost just died, and I said, what do you mean? He goes, bottles were rolling everywhere, and my heart dropped, because we had just bought two bottles today. <laughs> Rally L100 fell, on clunked and bounced on the cement. ground, <laughs> and thank God they do some thick glass, because it stayed intact. And I caught old Ezra, the one I bought today. So that yeah, been, his baby that he's been looking for for a couple too, months. But... So, yeah, John's uh, cat-like reflexes were thrown into action today. So, I give the nose a three point seven five. I need your phone. Mm hmm Because you can't remember numbers. Not when you're talking. Everything oh, it must in between. be cold. It says AC. Oh. Mm. What does AC even stand for? In All clear. Oh, I never knew that. <laughs> What is, so C, what's the difference between C clear. and all C? Clear like the last thing, not all clear? Yeah. Hmm. So much cinnamon. You drink your Moscow mule. And our fat Earthquake. cat's running through the house. <laughs> Uh, it's sweet and cinnamon. It's that cinnamon sugar again. I don't even remember which one I said that was. Like the last five. <laughs> no. I got tamales and red hots and now cinnamon sugar. You're a cinnamon kind of guy. Mm. It's pleasant, but all the three left are very pleasant. Very hot. I'd give it a seven and a half. Mm, okay. And the finish is long and spicy. A little bit of oak. 
Very, very pleasant. I'll give it a four. Okay. It's gonna be really hard narrowing down these bottles. Color is nice golden with an orangish tint. Mm -hmm. A lot of legs, very slow moving and looks thick. So I'd give it 2.25. I wonder how consistent I'm being with all these bottles. I think I'm, I feel like I'm pretty consistent right now. Seventy-five. Okay. Okay. Now onto the Jim Beam glass. I really like this glass. Side note. Nice. It's got little divots for your fingers so you can hold it all fancy and not get fingerprints all over it. That might be why I like it. Anyways. Ooh, almost sloshed out. Alcohol abuse. This glass doesn't clean very well though because I always get an odd smell from it. I gotta swash all the alcohol around to get rid of it. I'm not trying to get sloshed up. So this one has a lighter cinnamon, like a cinnamon vanilla. Okay. It's crazy how I get cinnamon on all of them, but they're all just slightly different. This one is peanutty. Kind of like a Cracker Jack almost. Okay. Actually, even a little butterscotch. I'm sorry. Cammie just hissed at Memphis and she had food in her mouth and it went, Floom! <laughs> These cats. <laughs> my cat just dove across the kitchen table at my other cat that was eating. It was pretty great. <laughs> oh, this one smells good. I give it a 4.25. The Ooh. vanilla and the cinnamon and the, the Cracker Jack. It's like in the butterscotch. Haven't pulled that out of any of them yet. Mm -mm. That's interesting. The longer I sniff, the more I get. So, what did I give it? 4.25, I think. Accurate. So smooth. It's got the nuttiness in it. Nice, small cinnamon tingle. Definitely lower proof, or a taste lower proof. It's very, like, the vanilla comes through, too. I'd give the taste 7.75. And the finish is just starting to fade, so it's a medium finish. Fairly thin mouthfeel, though. Um, a little bit of bite sticks around. 3.75 on the finish. Okay, so I guess Look. color. He's forgetting where he's supposed to be. I can't even remember if we did the first review yet, tell you the truth. I think we did. It's got thick. It looks thick. A lot of nice legs. legs. They beat up and kind of slowly roll, and then when they hit like halfway down the glass, they dart. It's got that a little bit of darker tinted. I thing. like it. It's very nice. Nice color. I'll give it 2.25 on the color. Add the bottle. My calculator is not that great. Do you remember what the numbers were? Hold on. 4.25 on the smell. 4.25 plus 7.5. 7.75, I think. It's already messed up. You can't use your Half calculator. the videos are just calculating. I know. And then... To finish, I don't remember. I want to say 1.75. 4 plus 2.25. Does that make sense? I think so. Yep. Plus the bottle. Times 4. 80. 80. 
So the second one. 75. Mm. That one. Rebel Yellow. And this one, Larceny. Okay. Okay. Down to the final. Not, I'm not upset over anything yet. Little Mad Weller is out. Mm, he tried to bring it back in. I was but like, you put my two favorite after mm. that in the first one, so... Nothing I can do about it. So, so. alright. On to the next video, and it's going to be Corner Creek and Larceny. I'm not going to be able to walk after this. Nope. So that wraps up this review. Leave a comment if you have tried this whiskey and let us know what you thought. Please like and share us to social media, subscribe to our channel, and don't forget to leave a suggestion for our next review. Thanks for watching.